Yeah, my education, I, I um, uh, unfortunately didn't go to university. Uh, I would have loved to have gone to university, but um, I had a rather circuitous uh, educational pathway in my career in that um, I started, um, I left school with uh, some O-levels, uh, but I did all, all of my A-levels in science at night school. And following night school, I went on to take various uh, qualifications. Um, I took a city and girls qualification too, in fact, uh, where I was a, a senior lab technician. I went on to uh, complete uh, high national, uh, then an MI Biol at uh, Stockport College, and then uh, a MPhil at uh, Nottingham University, which then followed uh, a PhD at Manchester University and a DSC at Manchester University. So from starting out a career with just a few O levels, um, you know the opportunities uh, presented themselves that if you basically uh, work hard um, in your career you can basically achieve what you want. Um, there are always opportunities for young people who may think you know they've they've missed out on their O levels, A levels, uh, but there are many many ways in which uh, your career uh, can advance with hard work. So yeah, there are ways which basically you can improve your career, uh, improve the number of qualifications you gain and improve your um, s status within whatever organisation that may be, whether it be academia or, or the pharmaceutical biotech uh, world. But um, what you have to consider are there, are there are sacrifices in the sense that uh, during this period I had a full-time job, um, I eventually married, uh, we had children, and all of these um, uh, factors played uh, were very important in my career development because without my wife, without my family, I don't think I would have achieved many of the things that I have achieved because I had their support and their backing during this, this, this time. I think as we uh, move through life, uh, there are obviously key people who are important to us in our development, who nurture us, who take us under their wing, who basically uh, give their knowledge freely with regard to what we're trying to achieve uh, as our personal goal in life. Certainly uh, the British Pharmacological Society has played a, a tremendous role for me in meeting many uh, famous pharmacologists, scientists who, um, who have basically given so much of their lives to developing new drugs. Uh, uh, Sir James Black being one of them who was a, a a tremendous um, influence on my life and how uh, the development of beta blockers, uh, which my wife is actually taking now. Um, so people like Sir James Black, people, uh, the management at ICI, uh, people like Barry Cox, Mick Turnbull, um, then I move into the British Pharmacological Society, Norman Bowery, Rod Flower, uh, Ray Hill, the, the staff, uh, so many good, good people uh, with regard to their passion for the science, uh, their passion for helping young people, bringing young people uh, along in the science. And I think that's the thing that I've always tried to bring back to um, my life 